Welcome in everyone. Today we'll be watching the second episode of The Last of Us. But before we do that, I just wanted to thank you guys for all the lovely comments and for everyone who has subscribed to the channel. Also, I've set up a Patreon account so you can check my full reactions and get early access to videos. All right, let's go watch this. Oh, we're in Indonesia. September 2003, okay. Uh-oh. Someone's in trouble. Ah, snitch! <laughs> it's a lady, okay. What did she do? She looks kind of important, though. Maaf, Pak. Apakah saya ada perbuat suatu kesalahan? Tidak. Tentu saja tidak. Apa Bapak tidak salah orang? Anda Bu Ratna. Profesor Mikologi. Universitas Indonesia. Kita memiliki orang yang tepat. Wait, right. This was the year when this all thing started. So maybe they uh, are suspicious of something and they got this lady to help out. Kami butuh bantuan Bu Ratna untuk meneliti spesimen yang telah kami persiapkan. Iya. Ini opio Cordyceps. Tapi kenapa menggunakan klorasol untuk mempersiapkan slide? Kami gunakan sebagai persiapan pengambilan sampel dari tubuh manusia, Bu Ratna. Kondisi tidak bisa bertahan pada manusia. Or can it? Jika ibu merasa mual, sebaiknya ibu segera keluar. Okay. I wasn't expecting a naked body. That's a bite mark, okay. Ugh. Okay, that's that's disgusting. Is it pus? Laughing because I'm nervous. <laughs> Jadi kapan ini terjadinya, Pak? Kurang lebih 30 jam yang lalu, Bu. Di pabrik tepung dan gabah di barat kota. Lalu bagaimana dengan orang yang dimiliknya? Dibawa untuk dioperasi. Are they locked? Sayangnya beberapa jam kemudian telah menjadi keharusan sesuai dengan prosedur. Mereka harus tetap dieksekusi. Siapa yang mendidik perempuan itu, Pak? Good question. Kami tidak tahu ini. Lalu pekerja yang lain bagaimana? Empat belas orang hilang. Oh no. Kami butuh vaksin. Butuh obat. Saya telah menghabiskan waktu hidup saya untuk mempelajari hal itu. Tidak ada obat. Dan tidak ada vaksin. Jadi apa yang harus kami lakukan? Bom. I mean, I was thinking killing everyone who's infected. And that was already mainstream, but bombing? <sighs> I'm feeling so anxious right now. <laughs> Just because of what she said. It's like, she has all this knowledge and she knows all the procedures and what exactly is gonna happen. For, the, for her, this would be like a, an impossible scenario, but now it's actually happening and she knows everything that will happen and how fast it will happen. I'm, I'm already anxious. So I can't imagine how she must feel with all the knowledge that she has. Oh, I thought they were sleeping outside. Oh god! Morning. That's not creepy at all. Do I look like I'm infected? Show us your arm. not getting any worse is it what was marlene doing with an infected kid i'm not infected she found me after i was bitten and she didn't shoot you clearly not she locked me up and had her guys test me every day to see if i was getting sick why are you so important to marlene and don't lie to me or we'll take you back there's a firefly base camp somewhere out west they're working on a cure and whatever happened to me is, is the, the key, key to, to finding, finding the vaccine that's what this is 
We've heard this a million times. Vaccines, miracle cures, none of it works. It doesn't matter if she is or she isn't what the Fireflies say. If they believe that she is, then we get what we want. If she so much as twitches, <laughs> I can't. Oh God, don't, don't do that. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> idiot. Is this where they bombed? Yeah. They also they bombed here. They the big cities like this. They had to slow the spread somehow. It worked here, but it didn't in most places. How did you get bit? You know the old mall in the QZ? I wanted to see what it was like. Didn't think there was going to be anything in there, and then one just came at me out of nowhere. So it was just you in there alone? Yeah. How old are you? 14. Well, I mean, you got some balls on you, sister. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, if she was really alone, then yeah, she is ballsy. Everyone said the open city was crazy. Like swarms of infected running around everywhere. You know, people like to tell stories. So there aren't super infected that explode fungus spores on you? Shit, I hope not. Or yeah. bunch of split open heads that see in the dark like that? Okay, those those are. Okay, that's not good. What was that? Where are you from? Texas. What about Tess? Detroit. It's in Michigan. I go to school. I know where Detroit is. I have a school? So, uh, you two, like, uh... Pass. <laughs> How'd you end up in Boston? Pass. No more questions about me. How long do infected live? Oh, I thought you went to school. It's a really shitty one. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> well, some last about a month or two. There's others been walking around for 20 years. <gasps> oh, oh, that that's a lot of them. They're connected. More than you know, the fungus also grows underground. Long fibers like wires, some of them stretching over a mile. And you step on a patch of cordyceps in one place, and you can wake a dozen infected from somewhere else now they know where you are now they come like it's really intelligent of the fungus to do that but how are they gonna go across well there's a way across from the top floor well then i guess it's fine we used to take it all the time okay it's bone dry could mean they're all finally dead in there that's how they check if it's okay to go oh shit Okay. Oh no. What That's... the fuck did that? I don't get it. Who would you hear? Who would you hear? Okay, from this point forward, we are silent. Not quiet. Silent. World. No question. Stupid. That was loud. That was loud. That was loud. We're fucked. Get out. Okay then. Oh, there's so much of it. Oh, there's so much. What the hell is that? Oh no. So now they're stuck. Shoot it! You're right. Twisted air filter. Yeah. Oh 
Okay, so that was a very intense scene. Are you fucking kidding me? Did you get bit again? Oh, maybe it's gonna happen. In the same spot? Where the fuck are they? Who? Okay, that's a bad sign. Holy shit. Who killed them? Fedra? No. One of them got bit. The healthy ones fought the sick ones. Everyone lost. Tess? Oh. What are you doing? Okay. Where did Marlene say that she was taking you? Ellie? Uh, I don't know. Just west. This way. Fuck. Okay, well, I mean, one of them's gotta have a map on them, right? So Tess, these it's were... over. We are going home. It's not my fucking home. These were the guys that were supposed to meet. I'm staying. I mean, our luck had to run out sooner or later. Fuck. What? 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 She's infected. Is she? Was that back at the museum? Take your bandage off. This is real. It was just fucking real. I, I never ask you for anything, not to feel the way I felt, yeah. not to go, you shut the fuck up, because I don't have time. This is your chance. Please say yes, Joel. Please. Oh, fuck! Oh. We're having a moment! Fucking rude. Oh no, it's getting in contact with it. Becoming one of it. Oh, it's so creepy. Oh no. Oh. Oh my god, there's so many! Oh, and they're so fast! Good! Fire! Making sure that they don't follow you. Yes. Fire cleanses all. Oh! Even better. Say who you can see. No! We're not leaving her! Get oh out no, of Tess. Fuck. Oh my god. Come on, come on! <laughs> That one can see her? I thought they were all blind. Oh, ah, thank God. Do it. Do it. That was the most disgusting kiss I've ever seen. this she was really nice i'm sad that she died she seemed to be starting to get attached to ellie and vice versa but i think she knew the importance of taking ellie to a safe place and just making sure that a vaccine was possible man that kiss scene oh my god that was horrendous disgusting oh my god <laughs> what the hell was that I how the fungus connects with each other so that was the second episode <laughs> oh, i hope you guys have enjoyed i really liked how the how they made the the scenes like the, the scenario of like everything was destroyed that was really well made 
it's very interesting how the fungus works. Like Joel was saying, it spreads around and then if you step on it, all of them know where you are. Just like we saw in this last scene when the, the people started to get infected and, and then he shot at them. And then the fungus started to connect with them. All of the others that they had seen in the beginning knew exactly where they were and they were so fast to getting there it just took them like one minute it's it's quite impressive how the fungus work also who were these guys that they found was it like another part of the fireflies that they had to meet or was it like a group of people that joel and tess they knew about and it was like a, a stop where they could like regroup and talk about what they had found and what was the safest way to go like were they that kind of group because it seemed like they they knew where were, they were going and they they knew the guys they were expecting some kind of sign also where do they have to go ellie said that they had to go west but west where they don't know where they have to go and ellie did get bitten again in the same spot it seemed like she was already healing while Tess was probably bitten at the same time and she was already twitching. Joel was saying they can survive up to two months but then they, they eventually turn. It makes me think Ellie has been bitten three weeks ago. Will we see something after two months? But that's gonna be all for today. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did enjoy, remember to subscribe and check out my Patreon. That way you'll be helping me to grow as a creator. Alright, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!